Using roll-up transactions when synchronizing with Xero means that instead of individual stock items being listed on sales and purchase invoices that are exported to Xero, they are grouped according to their VAT rate. To enable roll-up transactions, we need to be in the Account Synchronization setup screen. We recommend that the roll-up transactions option is used in conjunction with only export stock on invoices, which means that the VAT rate stock items are going to be the only ones that are exported to Xero. By going into edit mode, we can now turn the roll-up transactions toggle on. Now let's take a look at the VAT rates in the setup screen. We've already selected the Xero tax code to match the KS Control Cloud tax codes. We now need to map our specially created stock items that represent the tax codes to each of the tax codes for both sales and purchases. On our system, the mapping is complete with the exception of the standard rate tax. We'll now take a look at the stock item that we've used to represent our standard rate tax. Here are the stock items we've created to represent our different tax rates. Notice we've created a stock code and a description, and the description will be the description passed through on sales and purchase invoices to zero. We've also created a stock type, but you could use miscellaneous for example. One of the key steps in setting up your tax rate stock items is to make sure they're marked as non-stock controlled in the options tab. We'll now go back to our zero synchronization setup screen and complete the setup of our tax rates. We can now map the stock code we saw earlier against our standard tax rate for both sales and purchases. And all that remains now is to save our changes. Thanks for watching.